For over 15 years now, Shopify has been dominating the e-commerce industry. It's pretty much the gold standard for entrepreneurs who want to have a fast online store and an easy to use backend where they can basically manage their, their products or you know view their different site analytics. And to get started in Shopify, you usually want to have a theme or you hire a developer to build a custom theme for you. And right now I'm in the Shopify theme marketplace you can see that there are a bunch of different themes that you can you can look at and they have really nice designs. But if you start scrolling and you start looking at the different themes, we have different pricing. So $390, $400, 380, 400. Some of them are hundred bucks, but they're not really like really nice. And again, building something truly custom that truly fits your brand is extremely hard, right? You'd have to usually, you know, hire a developer to do that. So that's why in today's video, we're gonna be creating a custom theme inside of Shopify using different AI tools. And as you can see, if I click over here, this is our custom theme, very nice colors. And it's basically a, it's a combination between this template from the Webflow template marketplace and this template. So it has the same nav bar from here, this one has a different nav bar. And if we go up here, we can see that this is our hero section with our custom nav bar hero section over here, our countdown section over here that comes from here. So it's a nice combination between these two. If you wanna find the resources for this file, you can find it down in the description below. Also guys, feel free to join my Discord. We're a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers from all around the world. And we get together every single weekday to talk about different tools, different topics, different challenges. So if you guys are interested in joining that, link is down in the description below. And so the first thing that I wanna do here is I wanna look at different examples and create like a little mini mood board. And I found some cool websites that we can use. The first one is from the Webflow Marketplace. Now this is a template for retail, e-commerce, hair, beauty, and wellness. And this is a supplement brand, as you can see, called Heal Up. Has this nice little simple hero section, has this little you know product row uh, with their best selling products. Very nice little product images over here. Then we have these like features, I guess, the the benefits of using this, this supplement. And we have these testimonial slider. Then we have recent products. Then we have this call to action section. And then we have this like follow us, like this nice social media um, section that looks pretty, pretty nice. And we have this nice, very, very simple, but nice design. I, I kind of like this one. So we can go ahead and click on preview in browser and see how it looks like on the browser. I was also looking at the Framer template marketplace and I found this one called Sun Trail by 412. So shout outs to 412's, 412 for creating this template. And I opened it up over here and I found a few sections that I really like. For example, this like little banner uh, for for like a, you know, countdown banner, banner or something like that. And we also have other sections like this, our mission one I find, find pretty cool that we can also add or the leadership with this cool little layout. And so now that we have like a good understanding of how our design can look like, I'm gonna open Magic Path and I'm gonna bring in these different sections that I like from each one of our inspirations and kind of combine them together into one file. And in order to do that, what you can do is you can install this Chrome extension, Web Capture, HTML to React with Magic Path. And so I'm just gonna go back to our first website and I'm gonna open this Chrome extension, select the elements, let's just select, for example, Let's see if, if we like this. I like this nav bar more, so I'm gonna select this nav bar first, copy this component, go into our new project, click on paste, and automatically it's gonna start building that nav bar. And in terms of the hero section, I like this one a little bit more. So we're going to, again, go like this. We're gonna copy this. So we have some space on the right and left. Go back in here click on paste, and we're gonna start doing that slowly but surely, but with all of the other sections. So with this one as well, and with that countdown one, and so on and so forth. And then we start getting all of our components in place. So we have, for example, our nav bar, hero section, we have the, the countdown timer, this bestseller section, all of it now is inside of Magic Path, and it's all responsive. So if I were to get this, for example, and go like that, as you can see, everything is completely responsive down to the mobile viewport. And now what we have to do is we have to open a new component and start putting everything together like if it were a big Lego piece, and then we can start combining the styles and actually implementing our own new style using these different sections. Before we do that, I just wanna show you how easy it is to actually edit these components. So for example, you can grab this and you can click on edit, and you can, for example, select this 
and change the image fill to be something else. In this case, I created my own logo, so I'm gonna use my own logo. We're calling it SUPS, right, for supplements. So I'm gonna decrease the size of, of this a little bit, put this in the middle. Now we have a good sizing for our logo. All right, so what we have to do here is we have to just double click somewhere on the left and we can adjust the height of this to be a little bit larger. And now what we have to do is just mention these different sections into this one component. We can even call this one like, you know, main, right? Let's just rename it to main, click on enter. Now it's the main one. And I'm gonna start mentioning the other components. And you can basically do that by clicking on the add symbol. So add the at navigation header on the top, then at uh, wellness hero, add countdown timer, add component three, and so on and so forth. And at the end, we have our finished component with the different sections that we added. So our nav bar, hero section, countdown, different products, as you can see over here, meet our leadership. But, you know, all in all, the, the topography is kind of off because it's like a combination between the two pages. So there's no real like design system applied to this. So we have to kind of fix that. And also, as you can see, I added the different components, you know, step by step, because, you know, you're only allowed to mention four per chat. So once you finish the first four, you then you can add the next four and then so on and so forth. So after three prompts, we get this and we also have it mobile responsive, right? And if it's not mobile responsive, what you can do is you can just type in like make the hero section and the countdown mobile responsive and it'll do that for you. All right, now since everything is mobile responsive, we can go back to our you know, main view like this and kind of review everything. And what we want to do is we want to have a uniform style, a uniform design system that matches our brand. And so this is a great visual representation of what happens when you add a text or a prompt, like make the topography styles and colors consistent, right? This is the original one where all of our fonts and colors were pretty much inconsistent because we brought in those sections from these different websites. But now after that prompt, we get something like this, right? We have that nice green color over here for the button. We have, you know, it maintains this lime greenish color over here, but now things start to change, right? The countdown isn't red anymore. We have these like nice yellow banners up here or or little like uh, ribbons with the price over here. Um, as you can see, the stars turn green as well. The background for the different people also change and so on and so forth. So it, it gives us a nicer, cleaner, consistent design. And what's cool about Magic Path as well is that you can go ahead and choose this and you can like, you know, forward slash, click on variants and try try different color styles, for example. We can click on enter, two different variants, and we end up getting different color variants. As you can see, one like this navy pinkish color and the other one with this dark or burnt orange color. I honestly like this one, so we can go ahead and stick with this one. We can duplicate this and then we can ask the AI to adjust the copy to match a supplements brand. So now we have a now we have a new site with new copy. Unleash your full potential, limited time, new formula launch, top performers, build strength, power, and, and unstoppable confidence. So it's supplements for men, right? So this is looking good. Now what I want to do is I want to export this into anti-gravity, which is Google's new IDE. And then I want to eventually use the Shopify CLI to convert this code into a Shopify ready template. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and select this main component, click on code, and we're gonna click on open in anti-gravity and just click on this button, copy this command, and we're gonna look for our terminal, click on enter, and we're gonna paste this into our terminal. I'm gonna call this SUPS theme because that's the name of my brand. And we're gonna click on enter when it says anti-gravity and it's gonna automatically start opening anti-gravity in my other screen. Now the icon is jumping, it has opened. So it's gonna bring this over here and boom, we can see, we can now see our project inside of anti-gravity. I'm gonna click on yes, I trust the authors because I'm the author. And now inside of anti-gravity, I'm just gonna write install Shopify CLI and we're gonna make sure that Gemini 3 Pro Perfect, and we're gonna send this. Now the next thing that we have to do is just approve these different steps. So I'm gonna click on accept, and we have our different tasks. We have our little bullet points that the AI agent is gonna take care of us for. And once that's installed, we wanna get this exact prompt that I have over here, and we're gonna paste it into the 
little prompt space inside of anti-gravity. And this is basically telling anti-gravity that they are a senior front-end engineer focus on Shopify themes and that they have to convert these files that we got from Magic Path to a Shopify native tech stack and that the design must remain 100% like it was inside of Magic Path and the output follows Shopify themes best practices. So without further ado, let's go ahead and click on send and we're gonna proceed with that implementation plan. So it's gonna start creating some new folders for us. It's gonna start creating these global components. Now, once this is complete, we can say remove all unnecessary folders and files from the previous code structure. So the output matches a clean Shopify native theme. And as you can start seeing, our code structure gets a little bit cleaned up. And now once that's done, we can go into our finder and we can select all of this and click on compress. And then we can just rename this to be like, you know, subs theme. And then inside of Shopify, I have a few products and big, big shout out to my friend Costa Matrescu, who is part of my Discord community. Um, and basically he helped me create these different visuals for our different products. So once we're in Shopify, we can go into our online store and we can click on import theme and we wanna click on upload zip file. And that's where we wanna upload our zip file. Click on add file, go over here, choose that zip, click on open, click on upload file. And as you can see, we have our little theme down here. This is my little test site. Our theme is over here. We can click on edit theme. So we go over here, edit theme, and this is where we can edit all of our different things. So for example, our heading, our subheading, our button label. We have our countdown section. We have our top performers. And over here, we can connect this to like a specific product. So we can say that this is like, you know, one of our products, like the focus droplet. And this one is gonna be like the gummy one over here. So we can select power gummies, boom. And I can even hover over them and they come. it comes out with like that second uh, image, right? So this is a really cool little feature that we created in Magic Path. So all in all, really, really cool. We get our entire design in here, just like we had it inside of Magic Path and fully responsive. As you can see, the mobile view looking really, really great. So I'm very, very happy with what with our result. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, guys, this was a really cool video. A lot of opportunities coming from this, right? You can build, you can have like a custom, you know, like a custom Shopify theme agency to help other people with this. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.